Let's get started. It's November 8th, 2006. Jose Garcia drives to his girlfriend's home and is waiting outside in his brand new car, a car he worked two jobs to buy. Two men approached and opened fire. Jose Garcia was only 19 years old. Here is his story. He was almost 11 pounds when he was born. He was so cute. He was adorable. He was like a doll. <laughs> he was so fun. Um, he was a great big brother to his sister, a great um, male role model for my brother and just for, for all the cousins in the family. He'd do anything for his family. He was a hard worker. Um, he tried to make himself an example for the younger kids to emulate. And when I got home, I always find him washing dishes and mopping and cutting the grass. He loves sports. And he played soccer in school, high school, until he graduated. He was working in the morning and he was going to school in the afternoon. He was going to IT Tech. He wanted to be an electrician. He had a big dream to save money to buy a house on Bel Air. But he wanted to buy his car first, and he would save any penny to buy his car. We support him as much as we can. He lived at home, and um, finally he got his car, the car he wanted it. And it was a lot of sacrifice for that car because he worked really hard for that car. He really did. Everything that he did was somewhat to set an example, not only to reach his goals, but so that the, the younger kids can see what he's doing and follow in his footsteps and to make his family proud, his, his mom and his dad and his younger sister as well. He used to hug me a lot. <laughs> we looked like boyfriend and girlfriend when we went out. He always hold my hand. He's an angel, he's everything. You can imagine on a son. He was everything. Uh, this uh, crime occurred on Wednesday, November 8th, 2006, at approximately 8 o'clock in the evening. Uh, the victim, Jose Ramiro Garcia, uh, 19 years old. He was sitting in his 2002 Cadillac Escalade in the uh, driver's seat, uh, waiting for someone. The vehicle was parked directly in front of a house on Palm Grove Avenue in the city of Los Angeles residential district, a quiet area for the most part, and uh, there was a confrontation between uh, Jose and two male blacks on foot who asked him if he had uh, gang affiliation. Jose does not have any uh, gang background. He's uh, just an innocent victim sitting in his vehicle waiting for someone. Uh, he was confronted and uh, he was shot multiple times. My husband and I and my daughter were watching TV and the phone rang and my daughter answered the phone. I look, I turn around and look to my daughter and I say, who is it? And she was just, mom, um, they say that Joe got shot because we call him Joe. And I was just in disbelief because this was four days after his birthday. And to this day, still can't believe that he's not there. This girl had um, called him uh, to go see her. Uh, they have an argument or something. My, my son doesn't like to argue with people, didn't like to argue with people, and he went to, you know, to take care of that, and um, he was waiting for her in front of her house. The investigation revealed that uh, uh, there were at least two individuals, suspects involved male blacks, that possibly fled the scene in a red sedan, a known uh, description of the vehicle. It's been almost five years and I don't know anything about the people who take my son's life. It's really, really hard for me to live without him every single day. You know, I'm not gonna forget my son the rest of my life, but at least probably have some relief knowing that they're behind bars. So I, I really appreciate the people who approach to the police or call them. Knowing how much my aunt and uncle need him and just as a mother now myself, like they say, you can't imagine, you, you're not supposed to bury your own kids. And he's, he's somebody very important in our lives that he's, he's not there anymore. 
He was a great kid. He, he's always going to be loved, but he's missed a lot. And I just hope somebody out there that knows something comes forth so that justice can be served and so that this doesn't happen to somebody else. It's been six years since the uh, crime occurred and this family deserves closure.